Rheumatoid arthritis is a complex, autoimmune disease that occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks joints, creating inflammation that causes the tissue inside of joints to thicken, damaging the bones and associated connective tissue. Pain, fatigue, and stiffness are among the signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis that can have an impact on daily living. If not properly treated, rheumatoid arthritis can lead to permanent, debilitating bone and cartilage damage. Despite the availability of multiple treatment options with varying mechanisms of action, many patients still do not achieve clinical remission or low disease activity, which are the primary treatment goals for rheumatoid arthritis. This video contains information on a new drug which has recently been approved by FDA for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. Abvi on August 16, 2019 announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has approved Rinvuk, containing eupatacetinib, for the treatment of adults with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. Rinvuk is expected to be available in the U.S. in late August 2019. With this FDA approval, Rinvuk has the potential to help additional people living with rheumatoid arthritis achieve remission who have not yet reached this goal. Rinvuk or Eupatacetinib is under review by the European Medicines Agency EMA, as well as regulatory authorities in Canada and Japan, for the treatment of adult patients with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. Mechanism of Action Eupatacetinib is a Janus kinase Jack, inhibitor. Indication and Dose Rinvik is a prescription medicine approved by FDA to treat adults with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis in whom methotrexate did not work well or could not be tolerated. The recommended oral dose of Rinvik is 15 mg once daily with or without food. Rinvik may be used as monotherapy or, in combination with methotrexate or, other non-biologic DMARDs. It is not known if Rinvik is safe and effective in children under 18 years of age. Rinvik is not indicated for methotrexate naive patients. Use of Rinvik in combination with other JAK inhibitors, biologic DMARDs, or with potent immunosuppressants such as azathioprine and cyclosporin, is not recommended. Adverse Drug Reactions Most common adverse drug reaction reported with Rinvik are upper respiratory tract infection, nausea, cough, and pyrexia. Rinvik is a medicine that can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections have been reported in patients receiving Rinvik. The most frequent serious infections reported with Rinvik included pneumonia and cellulitis. Among opportunistic infections, tuberculosis, multidermatomal herpes zoster, oral and esophageal candidiasis, and cryptococcosis, were reported with Rinvuk. Malignancies such as lymphoma and other cancers, including skin cancers were observed in clinical studies of Rinvuk. Thrombosis, including deep venous thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and arterial thrombosis, have occurred in patients treated for inflammatory conditions with Janus kinase inhibitors, including Rinvuk. Many of these adverse events were serious and some resulted in death. Events of gastrointestinal perforation have been reported in clinical studies with Rinvuk, although the role of JAK inhibition in these events is not known. Change in certain laboratory test parameters were also reported with treatment with Rinvuk. These changes included neutropenia, lymphopenia, anemia, 
increased liver enzyme elevation, increases in lipid parameters, including total cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol, and high-density lipoprotein HDL cholesterol. Embryo-fetal toxicity Based on findings in animal studies, Rinbeck may cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Administration of eupatacetinib to rats and rabbits during organogenesis caused increases in fetal malformations. Advise pregnant women of the potential risk to a fetus. Drug interactions Eupatacetinib exposure is increased when co-administered with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors, such as ketoconazole. Rinvac should be used with caution in patients receiving chronic treatment with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Eupatacetinib exposure is decreased when co-administered with strong CYP3A4 inducers, such as rifampin, which may lead to reduced therapeutic effect of Rinvac. Co-administration of Rinvac with strong CYP3A4 inducers is not recommended. Thank you for watching this video. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.